Hello healers, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I have a different video here for you, one that I was in my mind to do it for a while and this is all about uh, you understanding which relationship you have at the moment, you know? Is it a soulmate, a twin flame or a karmic relationship? So we will have um, one of each here, okay? So make sure you pause this video and um, make sure you take your time and uh, focus on each of these images, you know, and uh, the relationship that you have at the moment or the relationship with someone that maybe you're not communicating or separated and you're thinking, will you come back again because you have this connection? Are you soulmate? Are you um, twin flame? Or is this a karmic relationship that it's really best to release now and, uh, you know, focus on the next one, bringing the other person, the right person for you? I'm just editing here guys and I wanted to remind you that I have a video that I added a while ago which is uh, understanding the difference between soulmate, twin flame and karmic connections in 10 minutes and I think it's a very useful video for you to watch as well. So if you want to watch this video and then go to the other one, I'll make sure to leave it on the card and on the description below. So you click on that and really understand so you know for a fact which kind of relationship you are living right now. So that's what I have here for you guys, you know, as one of each here. So really focus on, on the images and see which one resonates the most and thinking about this person really like focus, maybe stop the video if you want to. And this is going to be group number one, two and three. So it's going to be one of each, all right? And it's going to be some information about that connection. So you can maybe understand and see if it really is resonating, if it really is the kind of situation that's happening. So you know in, in your heart that this is the right one. Of course, you can watch the full video and see which one resonates the most. So you know you can recognize what kind of relationship this is. So maybe you want to watch all of it. You know, but, but go with your gut feeling, okay? It is most likely the right choice. Like always, my details, the cards that I use, a way for you to support this channel. Everything is going to be in the description below. And if you're not yet, guys, consider subscribing. I add videos nearly every day to this channel. I also have lives as many times as I can, you know, so you're having lots of fun with the lives as well. It's always uh, very nice to get that uh, back and forward, um, you know, information straight away with the readings on the lives. So, you know, straight away the answer to a specific question is really, really nice. And uh, hopefully you can join us. So consider subscribing if you're not yet. And if you're coming back to my channel, thanks very much for, su for your support. I really, really appreciate that you're here with me. And again, guys, group number one, two and three. Thanks for watching. Group number one, if you chose this beautiful image here, this pile, you know the person that you're thinking right now. And we have here power. We have some longer messages. I read all the messages, right? It's mainly one back here. And uh, we also have new beginnings here. Okay. I'm going to hold on to this card here. I read all the messages, right? We have power. You instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. This is that uh, relationship, guys, that you you know in your heart, okay, that uh, you are in the right direction or not, okay? You have the power to walk away. But maybe sometimes you feel that you're powerless, okay? And uh, you, you know that you have the power, but you forget your power as well. The power goes to the other person's hand and they start controlling you as well, okay? And um, the other message is you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. This is that relationship, guys, that you do need to look around and analyze the things that are happening, right? Is it always turmoil? Is it, is it something that you are learning? You know, is it a pattern that is repeating over and over? Okay, guys, this is a karmic relationship, okay? So we live here and uh, just just to to help you out to understand right this is that relationship that uh, you know it's it's causing so much pain but you are stuck there you know like you can see this lock here you do have that uh, you know that feeling like you don't have the power to leave but you do okay and it's there to teach you something and maybe it, it will last a little bit but it's always there to teach you something the problem is when we get stuck and we get married with the karmic relationship, we are living together, we have kids with them, you know, then 
it, you really are really closing this lock here a bit more, right? But it doesn't mean that it will, it's too late for you to, to learn and move on. It's not too late, okay? Maybe you just deepen the things that you had to learn in this relationship, depending on how long you're there. But it's that relationship that you feel powerless. You feel like they control you. They have the power. You don't have courage to always speak the truth. You don't have the courage to always be honest with this person. You're always thinking how they will react. Okay, so they are controlling your life even in times that they are not around. And then you feel like, uh, you know, they will know what's going to happen if you do something. Okay, you give them the power. But you need to always remember you are the one who has this power. But even when you believe that you are stuck inside of you, when you really connect with that inner power, you feel like this is not right. You know, you have that feeling that maybe it's a low, low voice that is telling you. But instinctively, you know what's right for you. And then you will have this feeling that you need to open this lock and be free at some point. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. So there are things that maybe you stay staying there in this connection because you think like they will get better if I do this, if I do that. You know, you're just thinking that uh, it's, it's your fault or you didn't do enough. There's, there's a point, okay, for things to, to stop here. You need to really analyze. And there are times that you need to stop. There's no point trying to change what is beyond your control. And what the other person will do, the way they react to things, is beyond your control, you know, in, in situations like this. And there's so much you can do. And you need to know when is the limit, okay? And you need to have this power here and understand that you still have this power. Maybe you don't feel like, but you do. Okay, you have the power to say no and to walk away at any point, any time. Okay, and we have the new beginning here. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. There are dreams in these cases, in these relationships that maybe are dead. Maybe you just had to release because you had to stay with this person. You had to forgive about uh, some of your dreams. You had to give up. And but remember. There's always a chance for this new beginning. doesn't matter how late, it doesn't matter how long you stay with this person. Okay? What is the lesson here? The main thing is if you don't learn with the mistakes, with the patterns, with the... Maybe this is not only one relationship for some of you. You know, this is... When you look back, you know how you always end up with the same kind of person. You know, just look back and analyze the, the type of person you're choosing. When it's over and over again, the same thing is because you didn't learn the lesson. And then you're repeating, repeating. You're just slowing down this new beginning, this chance for you to really embrace your, your life and your dreams. You know, so think back, guys, if you are over and over repeating the relationships, over and over repeating the mistakes and things are not moving. So it is time to analyze. Remember, you have this power to walk away and say no to things. Take back your power, okay? Because it's your life. It's your life. So it's really, in these cases, the situation that when you feel powerless, when they, they are the only the other side is, um, you know, running the, the show here. And it's not the case, right? The, the relationship is really about the balance, bringing the other person up together, you know? And you really need to be comfortable and be happy, uh, be a full person on your own. To bring that other person into your life you know if when this is when we put the other person into that position of bringing you happiness or they you think that you need to make them happy or you know so people need to be happy with themselves you need to be happy alone you need to know how to be alone as well and to be able to bring someone else into your life and then you together can bring happiness to each other but it's not your job to make someone happy it's not your job because you got married or because you're too many years together. You know, just analyze the situation. How does it feel really when you stop, when you're silent, when you're by yourself, when you're alone, thinking about how happy you are, how this relationship is bringing you, how connected or similar to maybe your parents this relationship is, you know, if they didn't have a happy marriage, how similar it is to your previous relationships that ended up, you know, so are you repeating the, the same mistakes, the same patterns 
you know, we will go in circle until we learn the lesson and then we can get out of that and then you can move on and there will be new lessons, new things in your life. But until we learn the lesson, we're still stuck here, you know, and just remember, guys, stop to analyze where you are. OK, and if this is resonating with the relationship that you are, you know, in a karmic relationship, look back, analyze. Remember, you shouldn't feel powerless in a relationship. You all ha you, you do have your power. You have the power to say no and to walk away at any time. And there's new beginning. Okay, there is this new beginning waiting for you. So as long as you get out of this and learn the lesson. But without learning the lesson, we still stuck. You know, that's why we may end one relationship and start the next the same way. But it's about learning the lesson. What is the boundaries here that you don't accept in these situations? Okay. What is something that you can bring? How can you two help each other to grow? Okay, if that's not happening, if it's just one-sided, the balance, you know, the scales are really only one-sided here. Just analyze that. This is need for you to maybe recognize that this is a karmic relationship, okay? You shouldn't feel powerless in the relationship. You do have your own power your own abilities and you two should help each other to grow okay so if you feel like um, your repeating is similar so just to stop guys to analyze here okay if you wanted to read these messages again if it helped you you know uh, there are things that happen for a reason it's really for you to learn and then you can move on but through the turmoil the blessings will soon be revealed like there are blessings right if when you start when you can look back in this relationship and see I know what I learned now. I know what I like and I don't like in someone. Now you know about you as well. Then it's okay. You know, there was there's a reason for this. So you don't hold on to the bad energy of why things didn't work. But you hold on to the lesson. That's when you know you can forgive and move on. Not that it's easy. It's not easy. None of these relationships are easy. But it's really a chance for you to learn and move on. Okay, remember this new beginning, you can focus on this as well. And you need to be really happy with yourself, first of all, without anybody in your life. And then you know you can add someone. That's what I have here for you guys. Just think about this. If this is a relationship that uh, your relationship right now or with this person that you're thinking about is or was like this, you know you were in a karmic relationship, okay? That's what I have here. I hope it helps you out in some way. And as always, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Good number two, if you chose this beautiful pile here. You know your connection already. We have here a message for you. I'll read all in a bit, okay? We have longer messages. We have healing. And we have here sync. Okay, we have 1111 here. And we do have a soulmate, okay? Guys, straight away here, group two, you can see this is a soulmate connection, okay? And this is a message here. So I'll, I'll read here for you, okay? A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Right? This is that connection, guys, that you know from the beginning. You, you have that feeling that you know this person already. Okay? You have some things that you have in common. You have that sync okay so there's there's lots of uh, synchronicities in this connection from the beginning it doesn't mean that you don't have problems okay all the relationships do but it's, it's that connection that uh, from the beginning even though it could be fast for some of you maybe some of you get serious fast get married fast okay you know this person and there's nobody telling you the other way around okay and then you may um, discover some issues later on because maybe you rush into things some of you okay but at least uh, straight away you will know that the connection is there and it's like you have that feeling that you know each other you trust them very much um, like early on like you tell them things that you didn't tell other people okay you have that uh, bond and uh, you can see here emotions are a natural and necessary part of life but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision in order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment because then you will find out uh, things about you, right? That uh, you will start discovering that you don't always um, like the same things. You feel like you know the other one, but they don't 
they are not like uh, they know all the exact same things. You, are, you could be actually very opposite here sometimes, you know, in things that uh, you like. But um, then you start building some resentments. Okay, so you need to make sure you work on the emotions here very much in this connection because there's that push and pull uh, at times here. Okay, and there is a period of adjustment in this soulmate connection very much. Okay, and in order to say things clearly, you must let go of some things. Okay, there will be maybe things from your past, maybe because you come out of a karmic connection when you connect with the soulmate finally. Okay, in the there are things you, you bring with you and they bring. Okay, the other person as well, both sides most likely come from karmic relationships because you learn first and then you connect here. Okay, and it could be that you needed to let go of some resentment, you needed to let go of uh, comparison with the previous relationships because it's going to be different. Okay, and it could be uh, very opposite of any other relationship that you had so far if you're dealing only with karmic relationships some relationships are none of those right it's just uh, no lessons uh, specifically something specifically from previous lives or anything like that but in this case here you know them from the other realm before coming okay you were mates uh, like you were already colleagues you were already friends okay before coming here so you know them so it's just a recognition okay when you finally meet here and some soulmates may not be uh, always romantic okay it could be friends we have friends soulmates as well okay it could be uh, that way for some but just in this case here we are talking about specific romantic relationships and so you would be bringing with you some luggages from your past relationships even from past lives right and because you come to learn as well with each other so you're connecting with this person to learn in any case all the connections are to learn something some lessons are to be learned and let go and move on. And some lessons are for you to get to something better, right? Build something together. Many times this is the soul, the soulmates are the ones that uh, you you marry with, you have kids because you are very comfortable with each other, right? At some point, you, you really get to know them. You know how they react to things, you know how to expect things. Here. Healing as well, okay? Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment there is need for healing in this relationship you may always think like oh it's a soulmate it's perfect it's not really none of them uh really it's, it's always a lesson in these connections and the soulmate connection is like it's always that feeling that you know them that you know you will start learning how they react to things okay you will be able to tell that they will like or not like something before you even do something before you even say something so that's why the healing is important because you can uh, get to know them you will be able to avoid things but if it, they, but when it's especially when it's fast and you only get to know them along the way along the relationship there is always this beginning of uh, hurting each other so there's a healing that needs to go progressing in this relationship but it's a beautiful connection that is in sync okay and you see here the soulmate message is uh, your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically so this is a physical uh, manifestation of this person that was already with you in spirit okay so that's the beauty of this you do actually really really know them they were with you they were friends okay there's not only one soulmate Okay, yes, that's the thing. There's not only one soulmate. You can uh, meet more than one soulmate even in this lifetime. Because like I said, my, some of them can be your friends, can be your parents. And, uh, but we're talking about the, the romantic connection here. And you could have more than one romantic uh, soulmate in this lifetime. But it's, it's more difficult, okay? It's not always there because um, each one is coming from, from a different mission. And maybe not always the mission is romantic. So when you meet one that is a romantic one, I feel that's why you know straight away you have that feeling, okay? Because you two are here not to just uh, learn together, but also to uh, have this romantic connection. So it's really important when you, you do that so you can learn with each other. But you're here, you're here for healing as well, okay? Healing is really important here in this connection because you will be hurting each other as well, you know? And... Um, because there's lessons, right? With the soulmates, each of you come here for a lesson and um, the karmic lesson is different, but the soulmate uh, lesson is a little bit deeper, okay? So it's more related 
to how you will treat each other, how you will treat others, how you will treat your kids if you have kids, how you will treat, uh, you know, your fur kids. You know, that kind of uh, situation you are actually learning is a deeper uh, messages here, deeper learning. Okay, it's about learning about who you are as well. And um, so you can grow because this is to evolve your soul. Right? This connection is not just uh, for romantic side, it's really to evolve and to learn and uh, to grow together. Okay, so you are you if you meet and it's a soulmate, definitely you're growing together. And growing means letting go of things, letting go of past karmic relationships, things that you have learned, and there's a lot of healing in this connection. Okay, and you will hurt each other as well, but you will help. Uh, more than hurt, right? There will be more healing together. You'll be able to talk a lot. This is someone that you, you you can stay hours talking. Even if you are years together, you still manage to sit down and talk at the end of the day, on the weekend. You always make time for each other, okay, in this connection, because you do need each other. You do need each other's uh, opinions before making decisions. You you really like have this bond, right? You, you do things together. You help each other a lot here in healing from past and from present situations. Okay, so just remember that, guys. There's a lot of deeper understanding of your soul. So when you look back on your relationship when you're with them for years and you look back, you will you know how grown up you are compared to when you met, you know, and you know along the way that uh, how you were helping each other. It's not one-sided. It's very much balanced. It goes, one. It goes. you know, it can deep the, the scale from time to time, but you always bring back that uh, connection, the sync, okay? you always helping each other. There's this long conversations, this trust, this bond, very early on, but it deepens, right, with the time. So remember that. This is a relationship that is not without struggles. It's not without hurting each other, but you, you hurt each other and you go back into healing, into forgiveness, and then you, you help each other to grow, okay, in many different areas. Not just the romantic side, not just love, but how, like I say, how to understand about yourself and how to understand about um, love and in general to other people as well and loving yourself. That's what I have here, guys. If it resonates with you, you know that you are in a soulmate connection. Do check my video below uh, regarding the other, like more details, like explaining specifically like the difference between the three connections and maybe it will help you out to understand more. So, but if you chose pile two, you are in a soulmate connection and it's very much in sync, okay? Remember this 11-11, this sync, this bond that you may already know this person from before, from even, um, you recognize them, there's that kind of, this soul recognition here, okay? Very, very interesting, all right? That's what I have for you. Let me know if it helps you out in any way, if it resonates, so leave me a comment and, you know, I'm always happy to hear from you and I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Group number three, if it was this beautiful picture here, this beautiful card, you have here some long, longer messages, okay? But we do have balance. I'm going to read the full message in a bit, okay? We have uh, transformation and we have a twin flame, okay, guys? This is a twin flame connection, okay? Group three, you have the twin flame, which is a balance, okay? I read the message here so you can understand a bit more. We have balance. Love is not always about agreeing, just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. The thing is, guys, this is a twin flame connection. And many people think this is um, easy on and uh, you know all about each other. And it's not like always like that, okay? The twin flame combines a bit of karmic and the soulmate uh, uh, qualities, okay? Because you come for the, in this earth to uh, really learn with each other. In all of them, right, you are learning something. But the twin flame is that um, connection that you not just uh, know them, you actually part of them, okay? It's uh, supposed to be um, two souls that come from the same um, origin, you know? So you just separated into uh, two flames, but it, it was originally one, one origin, okay? One soul. So that's why it's really that person that you really have that connection that you can't explain. It's something that you not just uh, feel like you know them, you feel like uh, you're part of them. And many times you are opposites as well and you have many opposite things because you are complementing each other. You're supposed to really help each other 
to grow and to learn something here. But many times the twin flames are not just here to help each other, but also to really help and do something together for the world, okay? So maybe together you feel like you can accomplish something, do things together, okay? And it's message here as well. Beware of what you are projecting. For the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. This is just to understand, guys, you're reflecting each other as well, okay? So many th many times you are challenged in these relationships with things that you don't like because when you, it, they're actually a reflection of the things you don't like about yourself, okay? So this is a challenging relationship at, at times, okay? Because you, you're here to grow. The mix, like I said, the, the karmic um, things as well, things you'll need to learn. You are here to learn with each other but to build each other up, okay? So you're here to challenge and see the things you needed to uh, see that you didn't learn from other connections and the things that you're really here to finally help each other, okay? So it's not for no reason. If you finally meet, which is not always possible in one lifetime, um, you may need it other lifetimes and you finally meet or finally be together as like a partners. Really, when you finally are connected, reunited, it's because it's for a reason. Okay, so it's not just to help each other. It's to, you may have a, um, a goal to really, even if it's just with your own family, okay? If you have kids, if you end up uh, uh, really building this life together here, it's like to to transform, to bring different kind of uh, kids into this world, into helping your society to help you in making a difference even in your neighborhood so you are this couple that will make a difference okay and uh, so it's not always easy here so and you may need to stay apart even in this lifetime to then end up together at some point so that's why people get confused with uh, thinking that once you meet you will never separate again there is chance that in twin flame connection you will separate and then ended up together okay just because you need to learn the lessons and you may need to bring these lessons into this connection to, to to learn because see here transformation is very important your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things and it's really about transformation here when you meet guys the twin flame it's it really it's it's a flame, right? So there, there is this fire as well. You know you're supposed to be with this person. You, you have no doubt in your heart whatsoever. But there's also the challenges that you know you have to, to go through together. To be flame, you know, your passion ignites. It's about that passion as well. There's this side. So there could be passionate fights as well. You know, there could be this this side as well. So do, don't forget and don't think that it's because twin flame is just all perfect. Because it really isn't. So this is a relationship that will confront your fears and the way you really deal with yourself and others, okay? So it will confront you a lot. So that's why sometimes you get ended up separated to then learn the lessons and then come back again together, okay? So it doesn't mean that will always be smooth and it really it isn't because the transformation and you do have this mirror-like quality which really confronts you a lot in this connection. But when you get to that point where you understand and you are transforming together, you are helping each other, this can be something really beautiful and deep and you cannot compare with any other connection that you may have. Even if you had a soulmate connection, you cannot compare because you will know the difference here and you will have some common goals and things that you want to achieve together. Like I said, maybe you will be achieving things that will not be just beyond, it will be beyond this connection. It's not going to be just having an effect on the two of you. Because first you work on you, on your ego, on your fears and the things you need to learn. But this will also transcend, right? It will continue with uh, maybe your kids, your neighbors, the people that are around your life and that you deal with. So this is a transformative relationship. It doesn't always happen. Some people think that will happen only in once in once in a lifetime. But once you reunite, it's for a reason. Maybe you have already been through this connection and you... You are not together, but there is a reason for that, okay? And it doesn't mean that they will not end up together. It just means that they needed to close some cycles in your life because there are loads of things that you need to be working with your soul. It's really about uh, growing the soul, and there is a reason. So without that growing, it's not possible to, to move on. And sometimes you need to close cycles, close karmic relationships, close even soulmate connections that you had already, anything that you need to learn to then be able to fully 
uh, deepen your life into this connection because this is something that uh, is a soul level growing here and it really is something that is undeniable once you meet them i feel like you know in your soul that uh, connection you know even if you had a soulmate connection that you know you you feel like you know them and you're very comfortable around them when you meet the twin flame it's a completely different it's like a fire you know for a fact this is the one and you feel like you also with throughout the challenges and all you do feel that you are completing each other so there's a lot of mirror-like qualities and there's a lot of things that could feel like you're missing that the other one is completing you in a way okay that's that soul feeling okay that is that's something deeper you would need it to be with them maybe for a while to understand and at times that you really recognize when they are apart but there is this energy that uh, needs to come back okay it is a flame for a reason okay there's a lot of passion there's a lot of fire there's a lot of um and the passion as well that is connected with uh, doing things so doing things uh you know for that will be beneficial for like i said for you for your family but for whoever is around you too so you do have a goal okay you may have goals together when you already have time to had time to work on yourselves you will uh, keep moving towards helping the world helping other people it's a really a deep connection here and uh, like always guys see what resonates here and you may, you may want to watch all of them and see and definitely i recommend you to watch my video i'll leave the link below and just reading about the information about the three flames so many uh, karmic connections and it will be able to help you out to understand this but if you are drawn to the picture straight away this is showing that it's a twin flame connection just make sure to check the other video you know maybe you want to watch this one fully and then watch the other one fully before coming to a conclusion be uh, about this connection that you have but that's what i have here for you group three twin flame connection okay not always the easiest but it will be there for a reason and you will be really really happy in the long term okay that's what I have here for you, Group 3. Let me know if it helps you out in resonating anyway. And if it does, leave me a comment. You know I'm always happy to hear from you. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching.